tuned into Quick Charge, the high voltage podcast bringing you the top stories in electric vehicles and sustainable energy daily. And it's all powered by electric. Welcome to Quick Charge. It's November 27th, 2024, and I'm your host, Joe Boris. The big news today are all the changes being made at Tesla supercharger stations. Tesla's adding longer cables and more to superchargers as non-Tesla EVs complicate matters. In North America, Tesla has been opening up the supercharger network to electric vehicles from other automakers for the better part of the year. Things have been moving slowly, and there are a few reasons for that. First of all, Elon fired Tesla's entire supercharger team earlier this year, and the company had to rebuild it, including hiring back some former employees. That has significantly slowed things down. But Tesla also had to take things a bit slower because non-Tesla EVs using the supercharger network complicate things by necessity. We've previously reported on the fact that many charge ports are located at different locations on the vehicles than they are on Tesla vehicles, which places the ports on the back of the driver's side of the vehicle. That forces those EV drivers to park in awkward ways, sometimes blocking another charging stall when they're plugged into a supercharger. Longer cables at supercharger stations are expected to fix some of that, but Tesla has been slow to deploy its new V4 locations, which are equipped with significantly longer cables than before. Tesla has now released an update on the situation and how it's addressing the problem. First, it's making stall availability more accurate than ever. The latest Tesla software update improves the accuracy of stall availability estimates. We can detect when another EV with a charge port located somewhere other than the rear left or front right is plugged into a short cable supercharger stall. This update ensures no more overpromising of stall availability, so you can travel with confidence. We will also continuously refine this algorithm to be as accurate as possible, including exact site mapping and faster refreshing of stall availability. Increasing number of long cables. Longer cables mean the V4 posts can serve all port locations. In the next 18 months, we plan to have more long cables than short cable superchargers. Modifying sites to avoid blocked spaces. We have modified over 1,500 sites so the drivers never have to use more than two charging spaces to charge, increasing stall availability for all. And finally, encouraging the best charge port locations. Since opening up the supercharger network in Europe in 2021, we've encouraged car manufacturers to transition charge port locations to the rear left or front right. This provides seamless compatibility with over 30,000 short cable superchargers available to other EVs globally. So Tesla is doing a lot to make sure the charging experience gets better for its customers, and they're doing even more to make sure the charging experience gets better in the winter. Tesla has just added direct charge port defrosting options just in time for winter. Not a Tesla app, which tracks Tesla software updates, is noting that some Tesla vehicles are now getting the specific option to activate the charge port heater with the latest software update. Tesla has finally added a solution to this problem. You can now manually turn on the charge port heater by going to controls, service, charge port heater. However, the feature is not available on all vehicles. It's only appearing in the release notes for a very small segment of vehicles. We've confirmed that it is showing up on a 2024 Model X and some 23 Model Ys on Tesla software update 2024 4431. The change is coming just in time for cold weather and should enable owners to target the charge port when needed increasing efficiency. Now, we take a lot of criticism for our coverage of Tesla here at Electric, but we always want to give credit where credit is due, and they're innovating to make the lives of their customers better. Another company that innovates to make the lives of its customers better is Blue Eddy, and we are very excited to be sponsored by Blue Eddy all this month. Blue Eddy, of course, a leading provider of sustainable energy solutions specializing in portable power stations, solar generators, and energy storage systems. As a provider of dependable and portable energy solutions, Blue Eddy has become an industry leader with a presence in over 100 countries that is trusted by millions of customers worldwide. Its portfolio of clean, portable energy solutions continues to grow and includes the AC70, AC180, AC200L, and Blue Eddy's latest technology, the hands-free line of all-in-one backpack power stations. Now through November 28th, you can save up to 52% on Blue Eddy products during its exclusive Black Friday pre-sale event. Explore all the deals at BlueEddyPower.com and be sure to use promo code BlueEddy5OFF for 5% off all power stations site-wide. You can click the link in the show notes or in the YouTube description below. We're very excited to have Blue Eddy as our title sponsor all month long. We love the stuff they're doing. They obviously love the stuff we're doing. We're excited to keep that partnership going. 
But while we're excited to keep this partnership going, there are other partnerships that seem to be slowing down, especially in light of this month's recent election. Total has pausing their New York offshore wind project after the Trump win. Total's offshore wind project is called Attentive Energy, and it's an 84,332-acre area, 54 miles from its nearest point to New York, and 42 miles from its nearest point to New Jersey. Attentive Energy has the potential to generate 3,000 megawatts of clean energy and power nearly 1 million homes. The company won the rights to develop Attentive Energy in a record-setting auction in 2022 and planned to bring it online in the early 2030s. But the project is in a very early phase, and it's not permitted. It hasn't filed a construction and operations plan with the U.S. Department of Interior, and that review process can take at least three years, which would be particularly challenging, if not impossible, under an administration that has openly opposed the offshore wind industry. Trump has been a vocal critic of offshore wind and has repeatedly vowed on the campaign trail to target the industry with an executive order on his first day in office. His plans are vague, but probably relate to lease sales and permitting. He's also chosen pro-fossil fuel fracking executive Chris Wright as Secretary of Energy, all of which seems like bad news to the French multinational total, which is why it seems to be holding off on that project. But it's worth noting that not everyone is hitting the brakes because of Trump. In fact, a lot of people are hitting the accelerator pedal, especially people who are looking to buy an EV. EV sales are set to surge across the country as buyers rush to claim discounts that may disappear in 2025. We may see an increase in EV and plug-in hybrid sales over the next few months as buyers move to take advantage of discounts that may disappear next year. That's according to Charlie Chesborough, senior economist at Cox Automotive. A Reuters report earlier this month claimed Trump's administration team was planning to kill off the $7,500 federal tax credit for clean car buyers. Chesborough explained that with fewer discounts on the line, buyers are expected to take advantage of them while they are still being offered, leading to, quote, robust activity through the end of the year. In October, EV sales in the U.S. reached a milestone with another 106,155 units sold last month. Over 1 million EVs have now been handed over to buyers, and we expect to see more than 10% of national market penetration sometime in November, if not December. And it's important to keep in mind that while the federal tax credit may be going away, other states like California and Illinois are stepping up with rebates of their own as are a number of utility companies nationwide working to incentivize the transition to electric power. So very exciting stuff. But whenever we talk about EVs, whenever we talk about expanding electrification and e-mobility, we have to talk about micromobility and bikes. But the bike that I want to talk to you about now is not so much about getting around. It's about getting around and around and around. We are, of course, talking about the Huffy Electric Green Machine, which is available for 30% off during its Black Friday sales event. Huffy Bicycles, of course, is a household bike brand name and e-mobility innovator. The company is celebrating 130 years in the segment, and Huffy's bikes are sold across thousands of retail locations, shipping millions of bikes to customers throughout the U.S. and 40 additional international markets each year. The Huffy name is known for products that deliver rider comfort, style, and durability. And whether you're on a bike, trike, scooter, or ride-on, there's something for every member of the family to enjoy. Since 2019, Huffy has been calling riders together with their rally cry, Live the Ride! which encourages families to celebrate togetherness by exploring the outdoors atop its product. Huffy's lineup includes the new Huffy Electric Green Machine, a nostalgic electrified version of the classic drift trike that Huffy fans know and love. We actually tested this vehicle back in June. I'll put the link of that into the show notes. Really exciting stuff and obviously a lot of fun. This powerhouse drift trike is packed with 36 volts of electric power and a 250 watt front hub motor that lets riders reach exhilarating speeds of up to 15 miles an hour. The new electric green machine is available at Huffy.com at just under $600. However, you can use promo code ELECTRECGM at checkout for 30% off your purchase, valid on the green machine only. Huffy's Black Friday deals are available now through the link in the description below, but only until December 8th, so act quickly while supplies last. We're obviously very excited to be working with Huffy on this, and if you're looking for that special something to put under the tree for someone, man, you cannot go wrong with that green machine. And that's, of course, targeted specifically at my wife. I want one. Make it happen. Now, we're having fun talking about these great bikes, these great deals that you can get as a electric reader and quick charge listener, but it's important to remember what this show is really all about, which is about electrification and the decarbonization of energy, transportation, and utilities. And that's why we like to end every show talking about exactly that. Today is no different. We are talking about renewable energy, 
powering 24% of the U.S. electrical grid throughout the first three quarters of 2024. That's according to the EIA's Electric Power Monthly Report, which includes data through the end of September 24. Solar power generation, including both utility scale and rooftop installations, shot up by 25% compared to the first nine months of 2023. Utility scale solar grew even faster, up 30.1%, while small scale solar, mostly rooftop, increased by 16.2%. Combined solar contributed more than 7% of the total electricity generated in the U.S. so far this year. Zooming in on September, utility scale solar generation grew 29% compared to September 23, and rooftop solar climbed by 14.2%. Combined solar generated 7.5% of all of America's electricity last month. Small-scale solar made up nearly 30% of all solar generated from January to September and provided 2% of the nation's electricity. Interestingly, small-scale solar is now producing almost double the electricity of utility-scale biomass and more than five times that of either geothermal or petroleum-based power. Wind power also saw strong growth so far this year. From January to September, wind output was up 6.6% compared to last year. Wind still holds the top spot among renewables, making up 9.9% of total U.S. electric generation for the first nine months of 2024. That's all we've got for today, November 27th. If you celebrate Thanksgiving tomorrow, I hope you have a great one and enjoy your weekend. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more of the exclusive deals being offered to electric readers and quick charge listeners. And we'll see you back again soon.